So the divergence test applies if the limit uh, of the terms as they go to infinity of the sequence is not equal to zero, or if it's uh, if it's undefined. Those are the two uh, conditions when the divergence test applies. So we want to evaluate the limit as n goes to infinity of this sequence. So to figure that out, uh, we want to evaluate this limit. Okay, but right now uh, it might not be a straight plug and chug. You know, I can't just think about substituting n uh, infinity in for n and thinking about what would happen. Uh, it's not exactly clear. But one thing we could say is that this term is less than this term, right? So I've got almost the same thing, but I can't do anything with two to the n and three to the n until they have the same base. And now I have 3 to the n plus 3 to the n. That equals 2 3 to the n's. But the whole reason we're able to do this is because we're evaluating a limit. And if I, can say some, if I can say that this limit is 0, then since this limit is always guaranteed to be bigger than this limit, as n goes to infinity, then we can say that this one's always uh, is going to tend towards 0 as well. So this is 90 over n divided by 2. <clears throat> um, OK, we've got two of those. And so if we try to evaluate this limit, uh, maybe it's hard to compare them because this is 90 for a base, and then up top we have 3 for a base. So we could rewrite 90 so that it's in terms of, uh, so that it has 3 for a base in the denominator. Okay, so we want to change this so that it has 3 for the base. So we want to solve this equation. We want 3 to some power to make it equal 90. And so to do that, we could use a logarithm. I'll use natural log but it could be common log or any other log. Natural log to both sides, because remember our logarithm makes that exponent come down and multiply. So x is the natural log of 90 divided by the natural log of 3. So what we just said is that, hey, if you raise 3 to this power, then it's going to equal 90. So in other words, the denominator is going to be 3 to the natural log of 90 divide by the natural log of 3, uh, and then that's all to the n over 2 power. And so powers on top of powers multiply, so if you want to rewrite it a little bit more, that's the same thing as 3, and then it's natural log 90 n over 2 natural log 3. Okay, and then now we have something we can compare. This is 3 to the nth power. This is 3 to the natural log 90 over 2 natural log 3. So let's figure out if this is bigger than 1. Uh, natural log 90. Oh, wait, let's do the denominator first. Natural log of 3 times 2. And then we're going to divide the natural log of 90 by that result. Oh, I copied, I think. Shoot. Natural log 3 times 2, copy that to our clipboard, and then we got natural log of 90, divide by that result, so we got 2.04, so this is almost equivalent to 2 times 3 to the nth over 3, let me get uh, 2.04, so like 2.05 to the nth. Okay, the whole reason of doing that is to show that um, the variables in the numerator, it's 3 to the nth power. In the denominator, it's 3 to the 2.05 nth power. So since the exponent is bigger in the denominator than it is in the numerator, then we can say the limit as n goes to infinity is going to be 0. Okay, So you plug in bigger and bigger numbers, they might be, the top and the bottom might be close to start, but as you start plugging in a billion, 3 to the billionth power, is way less than 3 to the 2.05 billionth power, right? So we put them in comparable terms. We put in uh, 3 to the nth, and then 3 to the 2.05 nth, and we saw that this has a higher power in the exponent. Therefore, this fraction is going to tend towards 0 as n tends towards infinity, as n goes towards infinity. All right, so all that work, we just found out the limit is 0. Okay, And that was one of those conditions we said at the beginning. If uh, the limit 
of the terms as n goes to infinity is zero, then the divergence test does not apply.